There are a lot of new things to know about Jedi Survivor. At the meditation points, you can access stances, rest, training, and skill stream. Regarding the stances I discussed in a previous video, you can check it in the description or in the right upper corner on the screen right now in the cards here. The meditation points save the game. Resting will restore Kal's health and force and respawn enemies. The skills tree is made up of survival, lightsaber and force. You also have the option to reset all skills in case you want to focus on a different strategy against an enemy. You also have on the map health essences which if you grab them they will increase the maximum health. You will need to do some parkour in order to reach some of them but that's always fun to do. The game has also meditation chambers which will test your abilities and various jumping puzzles. Most of them are optional and a few will be linked to the main story. After you complete this, they will provide extra ability points such as dexterity. The game has a high degree of customizability. You can change the hair and beard, holsters, the lightsaber color and parts, and you can change the music in the bar. You also have a sort of gardening in the game. You can grow various plants similar to what we've seen in Hogwarts Legacy. You can also change Carl's outfit, change the parts PD-1 has, and much more. You can make your life easier in the game by unlocking shortcuts which will be a time saver while traversing the map on foot. The game also has the ability to confuse enemies into attacking their friends, which is of great help. It is an ability you will need to unlock though. Oh, and by the way, if you find any part of this video useful, please consider subscribing to my channel because it helps me a lot and it motivates me to do even more and better videos for you guys. You also get to see more often when I post videos like this, so it's a win-win situation for everyone. Also, a like and comment helps the algorithm in recommending the video, so thank you very much for that. Since the story continues the one from Fallen Order, we will get to see characters like Sere Yunda, Gris Dritus, Merin, the Ninth Sister. She is spotted in the trailer and it seems she wasn't dead after the encounter with Kal in Fallen Order. One enemy we didn't get to see a lot in Star Wars series in general is Ravis from the Jedi race. They are quite interesting characters and some of you might not know a lot about them. A Jedi is made up of a mass of thousands of tentacles, all of which have strong regenerative powers, giving them an average lifespan of potentially thousands of years and near immortality in combat. The Jedi were once a peaceful race, but after their home world was destroyed several hundred years before the main events in the series, a few surviving Jedi became nomads across the galaxy and many of them became violent in order to survive. Ravis is around 1000 years old and has become the leader of a group of more raiders known as Bedlam Raiders. He will most likely be a very difficult enemy for Kel one players will struggle against. In case you get the standard edition only, don't worry because you will be able to upgrade to the deluxe after purchasing the standard. You will need a base game and all updates installed. The Deluxe will have extra cosmetics, if you pre-order any addition, you will get the Obi-Wan Kenobi inspired Jedi Survival cosmetic pack. In case you will buy the Deluxe edition, you will also get a new Hero cosmetic pack and the Galactic Hero cosmetic pack. Regarding any DLSS or FSR, IMD Fidelity FX Super Resolution that is, we don't have any news yet. The game won't have it at launch, but it could be added later on in a future update. One other thing to know is that Jedi Survivor won't have cross-progression, meaning if you play the game on PC and decide to continue on PlayStation 5, you won't be able to load those save games, you will have to start from the beginning again. Another thing to note is that Jedi Survival most likely won't be available soon on GeForce Now. For those that don't have a powerful enough PC or a new gen console, this could be another option to play the game, if they will add it later on that is. We already discussed the prices in the previous video, the standard game will be $70 and the deluxe edition is $90. There is a cheaper way to get the game, you can subscribe to EA Play Pro for $15 a month and get the game at that price and play it for only one month. Or pay a 2 months fee for $30 and play the game for 2 months for less than half the price. You could take that option into account for PC if you are keen on not spending too much on the game and play it right away. Hope this video worked well for you, thank you very much for watching the entire video, don't hesitate to like the video and subscribe and I wish you all the best, goodbye.